what's good youtube we're back with another video it's september 13 2024 um if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i like the video also let me know in the comment section what's your favorite pick for today so uh i did make two slips today one in form of a two man and also one in form of a six man uh the two man that i'm posting here that's my favorite two out of the six man that i made and also i'm going to sh share with you guys the six man that i made as well um like i said you guys could tell these picks or mix and match them or fade them like and also guys at the end of the day you guys are the ones putting the picks in but uh let's get straight into the videos so the first play that i'm looking at today is ariel atkins over 19 and a half no 19 pra i'm taking the over on this i know if you look at the last five she hasn't hit this in the last five games uh she's been struggling but i think uh the matchup today against the uh, atlanta dream it favors her um because Atlanta is like bottom in the NBA when it comes to uh, points, rebounds, and assists allowed to the guard position. So I think this could be a spot where Ariel Atkins could have a bounce back game and definitely go over the uh, PRA. And also, guys, uh, they played each other ago. They played each other like uh, two months ago, and Ariel Atkins was able to get uh, 18 PRA, no, 18 points, five assists, four rebounds, which is about 27 PRA in 28 minutes. So I think this could be a spot today where she bounced back and definitely go over uh, the 19 PRA. You guys could also take the points as well at uh, 13. But I think if she gets 13 points, I'm pretty sure that she can grab, you know, a couple of rebounds and get a couple of assists in uh, to definitely cover that PRA. So uh, I definitely like that spot for Ariel Atkins. And also another thing that I like as well is even going back to the preseason when they when they played. Ariel Atkins only played 15 minutes in the preseason, and she was able to get 15 PR rate in just 15 minutes. So based on what I'm seeing here is if Ariel Atkins plays over 23, 24 minutes, she should definitely go over the 20 PR rate, uh, 19 PR rate because it's, it looks like she's averaging um, one PR rate, I mean, one points, rebounds, and assists per minute. So um, I think this could be a spot where Ariel Atkins uh, could definitely crush that line. Second play I'm looking at today is Camila Cardosa over 11.5 points. I'm taking the over on this for a couple of reasons. Um, we've seen since Angel Reese got hurt, Camila Cardosa uh, has been getting the ball a lot more lately. The coach has been um, preaching to the guards to throw the ball in the post. And also, they're playing up against the number one defense in the Minnesota Lynx. And um, they had no answer for, uh, for Camila Cardosa. The last outing they played, she was able to get 22 points. And her line is set just at 12. So I think it's going to be a spot where um, they're going to look for Cardoso to score uh, points. So I definitely like uh, the 11 and a half points. And also, she's been averaging close to uh, over 14 over the last five. So I think 12 is a solid number uh, for Cardoso to go over. So I definitely like that uh, as my second pick. So those are the two picks that I'm rocking out with for my two men. I have Ariel Atkins over 19 PRA. And also Camila Cardosa over 11.5 points. So you guys could tell that two men or you guys could just pick one out of them, whatever you want. And also remember, it is Flex Friday. Uh, whenever it drops, you can click that promo tab and opt in and you get a free bet up to $35. So, so uh, like I said, I did want to uh, show you guys my six man as well. Uh, I, already guys, I already gave you guys the breakdown for Ariel Atkins and um, Camila Cardosa. So I'm just going to start with uh, Aaliyah Edwards and why I like her to go over her six rebounds. And the other plays, guys, Tina Charles under 29 PRA, Gabby Williams over nine points, and Dewana Bonner uh, to score 15 points. So uh, let's go to uh, Aaliyah Edwards over six rebounds. Um, I'm definitely lo loving this play. Uh, she's, like I said, playing up against the Atlanta Dream. So if we pull up Edwards... Rebounds are at six. She's playing up against the uh, Atlanta Dream. Uh, and she only hit this line one one time out of the last five games. But the, like I said, the Dream, they're bottom in the NBA in um, rebounds allowed. So I think this could be a spot where um, Aaliyah Edwards could definitely go um, over this uh, six rebounds. And also, she's been hurt most of the year. But as you can see, when she's healthy and she's played somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes, she pretty much could get you a double-double. Um, and another play, another spot that I like as well is if you don't like her rebounds, 
Um, you could definitely go her fantasy at 20 and a half because she, like I said, she gets block shots. She gets steals. And uh, she's a very active player, so uh, I'm I'm gonna lean more I'm gonna lean more towards the rebounds, and also if you look on uh, the sports books here for Aaliyah Edwards, let's go ahead and pull it up here. WNBA, WNBA. If you look at the misses game, if you look at the rebounds, Aaliyah Edwards. Over 5.5 uh, rebounds, minus 145. They're favoring the over. Um, I would love this line at five and a half, but you know, prize picks, um, they're always ahead of the game, so they, they have it for six. But I still like it at six. Uh, if it go to 6.5, I'll lean more towards the fantasy, but um, I like the six um, rebounds. Second, pl third play that I'm looking at today, it is a little risky. Um, you guys can fade it if you want, but I'm, ro I'm rocking out with it. I'm going with Tina Charles under. 29 points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, I see, you see here that she's been averaging uh, over 31 PRA over the last five games. But she's playing up against uh, the Mystics, which is uh, top of the NBA when it comes to uh, points and rebounds allowed to the uh, center position because they like to double team the post and also they like to play a five-out offense. So I think this could be a spot where Tina Charles struggles. Um, not saying that she can't go over the PRA because we know that Tina Charles is an all-time great. But uh, just on what I've seen um, la last couple times they played, uh, Tina Charles haven't got to this 29 PRA line. If you look on the sports books, uh, they have it 50-50 for the points allowed um, at 16 and a half and also minus 125 favoring the under for Tina Charles rebounds. So I guess I'm rocking out with it. I'm going under 29 PRA for Tina Charles. Uh, yeah, you guys don't have to play that. You guys could fade it. I wouldn't mind if you fade it, but... It's just more of a gut feeling for me that I think she go under the 29 um, PRA uh, as my uh, third pick. I already gave you guys uh, Camilla Cardosa of uh, why I like her over 11 and a half points. So we're going to go to Gabby Williams over nine points. I'm taking the over on this. Um, like I said, Gally, Gabby Williams, she's now a starter for the uh, Seattle Storm. And she's been balling like... Uh, Averaging close to 25, no, like 26, 28 minutes a game. Playing up against the Dallas Wings, which is pretty much bottom in the NBA when it comes to points allowed. So I think this could be a spot where uh, Gabby, Gabby Williams uh, goes over his nine points. Um, Let's go here. It doesn't show her on the sports books yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll update it later. But um, from watching um the Storm play, uh, Gabby Williams, she's, she's aggressive. She's about six foot one can get to the paint, can shoot the three. So I think nine points is just way too low for Gabby Williams. So uh, I definitely like that spot for her to go over that. Um, and the last play that I'm looking at today is we're going with Dewana Bonner over 14.5 points. I'm taking the over on this. You guys can fade this as well if you want, but I think she has a bounce back game today against Phoenix. Um, she only been averaging 12 points over the last five games. Um, but we know Dewana Bonner, she's an all-time great. She's a, uh, one of the top leading scorers in WNBA. And I think they get her going today against um, the Mercury. The last time they played the Mercury, they beat them by close to 30 points. And Dewana Bonner was able to get us 17 points in less than, what, 22, 23 minutes. So I think if this game is competitive, um, i like Dewana Bonner to definitely smash uh, this 14-and-a-half uh, um, points line. The sports book have it as a, at a at a 50 50 chance that she goes over or under, but I think she goes over just because she knows she's been playing bad lately, and um, I think she has a bounce back game. Maybe we can get us somewhere around 20 points tonight. So I definitely like that spot for Dewana Bonner to go over to 14 and a half points. Yeah, guys. So those are my six. Man, that's my six man pick. I got Ariel Atkins over 19 PRA. I got Aaliyah Edwards over six rebounds. I got Tina Charles under 29 PRA. I got Camilla Cardosa to score 12 points. Gabby Williams over 9 points. And also DeWanda Bonner to score over 14 and a half points. You guys could tell these picks are mix and match them. Um, like I said, I did give you my favorite two plays with uh, Ariel Atkins and Camilla Cardosa. So both go over their... Um, well, Ariel Atkins to go over PRA and Cardosa go over her points. And also the six men that I gave you guys with Atkins, Edwards, Tina Charles, Cardosa, Williams, and 
the Warner Bonner. So yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out that Discord if you haven't already. Link is in the description. Even if I don't post on YouTube, I post every day in the Discord. It's only $5 a month. Check it out. Link is in the description. And I'll see you guys back with another video. Peace.